Hello, I'm Entrelissim, and welcome back to our sponsored Let's Play of Everspace Encounters. Encounters being the new DLC for Everspace. So bear in mind, by the way, if you do want to get the game, there is a link down below. Now, uh, as per usual with all sponsored Let's Plays, uh, I will be biased, even if it's only unconscious bias, so you can make up your own mind based on the footage you see here, and I'm going to try and avoid too many opinions. So, last time we played around with the Sentinel, which is the new craft in the DLC, which has basically like, it's like an electronic warfare platform, and it's really awesome, and you know, I absolutely adore it. It's basically the only ship that I've been flying, because it is amazing. Uh, however, you know, it's good to experiment, and I feel that I, I think the time is right. I need to see other ships. Uh, now, don't don't worry, me and the Sentinel, we're getting on great, but we aren't quite at the stage of being exclusive. Um, we haven't quite reached exclusivity yet, but we're, we're getting close. But for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna play with other ships, and we're gonna see how they handle, take them out for a spin. And I think the first one that we want to look at is the gunship, because it's completely different to what we were playing before. In addition, we're going to be playing on the new Hardcore mode, uh, which is hard, and then some. And also comes with really cool lighting and music. Wait for it. It makes me want to just like growl this entire bit, like, yeah, we'll play the gunship. Uh, the Colonial gunship is a clunky beast maneuver, but it can take a lot of hits. Its reinforced hull provides the best protection available, though it comes with a weak spot. It is not possible to equip a shield device. The front shield generator and powerful turret provide remedy. Uh, yeah, you, you can't, there's no shield. You can't fit a shield. Nope. I think you can fit a front shield. I don't think it starts with one in hardcore mode, but I think you can. Uh, point being, yeah, you can't have a shield. So, you know the whole, oh, this is gonna just, you know, take damage and then it will recharge. I don't need to fix it. That's not there. Now, it does have a very tanky hull. I mean, it's got armor of 35%, which means you ignore 35% of all damage you take. you just like, no, 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 I don't take that 35%. Give me the 65 but the 35 is a no-no. Which means that you need to actually really kind of just avoid damage. You can't actually just play as a tank in the gunship, which you might think you could, but no, because it doesn't have a shield, you can't play as a tank. You actually have to be really, really scared of getting hurt because that damage will linger, and you're going to have to find someone to repair that, and then you will go through nanobots so very quickly. Mm. We're close to being exclusive. But not that so, let's give it some fancy coloring. What have we got? Go violet. Let's go with this. Kind of a blue color. Yeah. Ship color. I mean, I do like the black, but at the same time. I think the black contrasts too much with these windows, so maybe we'll go there. Unless we can go with a style set. Ooh. Ooh. That is if you're in the cult mechanicus. There we go. What's that? Tempted by Charon. Yeah, let's go Charon. Right. You might notice that there is a perks tab missing here. So, in hardcore mode... You don't get to start off with perks. All the ship perks that you normally buy in between uh, sectors and stuff, well, in between games. Because in the normal game, if you don't know, you go through maps, you go through maps, you get to the end of, you know, I think it's like generally four to five, and then you get to go to a new sector, and you go through that sector, and then you go to the next sector, and you rack up equipment, you rack up resources, and you rack up credits. And at the end of a game, whether you win or whether you lose because you're a clone, you just come back to a new body, those credits come with you somehow. Uh, you can spend those and upgrade your ship, and you can spend them on perks to upgrade your ship or your pilot. In hardcore mode, you have no ship perks, and you start with, I think you start with some basic pilot perks. But yeah, you don't carry anything through. This is completely standalone. There is no continuity in hardcore mode. Yeah. And now at the end of every sector, I think you can pick some stuff, and there's like random modifiers take effect, and it's on hard mode. But this is a real problem here. There are ways to make the gunship work. Basically, like, increasing your damage mitigation, increasing your energy to deal with that, starting off with slightly more slots. You can't do that in hardcore mode, because there is no continuity. Each run is entirely separate. And so we are not going to have any shield and be taking full damage in a ship which I am honestly pretty terrible at flying. But I thought that it would be good to fly something at the other end of the spectrum, just even if it's just to reinforce how much I love the Sentinel. Because I am... Oh, God, we're surrounded by enemies. Uh, so, 
very quickly, if you haven't seen the game before, it is a arcade style shooter which is based around fast paced, quick fights, then going through different systems to try and get more material, to upgrade, get more devices, upgrade your devices, go to a new sector, and keep going as things get harder and harder in the goal to just get towards the end of your run, which I never get even remotely close to because I am, I am terrible. Uh, we did okay last time, but uh, I, my suspicions are we will die a lot quicker this time since this is hard difficulty and hardcore mode. But I did feel we should give it a try, even if it was just a ah! kind of try. You know, flying by the seat of your pants. I don't even know where that expression comes from, and I don't know if I want to know. Uh, so, we start off with two weapons, Fusion Blaster and the Flat Cannon. Fusion Blaster is, like, amazing DPS. That shield DPS is amazing. It's just really, really good. Like, 120. Whew. But the range of 900 meters. Yeah. Uh, Flat Cannon, likewise, really, really good. It's an AoE weapon. Um, the splash isn't massive, but it's got splash to it. And it's got a damage of, you know, 74 per second. And a range of almost two kilometers, so pretty damn good. Now, the Fusion Blaster is great versus shield. The Flat Cannon is good versus hull. So, in theory, you'd go, well, shouldn't you start with the Fusion Blaster, and then when the shield's down, you switch to the Flat Cannon, and you give them a bit of a one-two, yeah. Uh, problem being, the Flat Cannon has a much larger range, and if I get them, let them get close enough for the Fusion, they're going to really hurt me. They're inside a kilometer by that stage, so we'll probably open up the Flat Cannon. If they survive long enough, switch to Fusion, then switch back. But we'll see. We also get Heavy Missile, which is a powerful missile with a lot of damage and an AoE effect. And a Mine Cluster, which creates a minefield after it reaches its maximum range on impact, can be charged to increase the range. So it goes up to two kilometers. So weird. It's a gunship only one. We have to keep it a spin. We also have a Gatling Cannon, which is on a turret, which just shoots things that get close. A Combat Drone, and a Damage Limiter, which reduces the amount of damage incoming. So, I think that combines with our armor effectively, like it effectively stacks on armor, it's not two separate things. So that will be a 40% plus a 35, so we should end with 75% armor if we're using the damage limiter. I think it applies like that, I'm not certain. This is a screen we'll see a lot, the damage screen is going to be painful. So, as soon as I unpause this, we're going to end up in a fight because there's people all around me. Okay, uh, this direction apparently. Whoa, hello. Right, the flat cannon is pretty good. Come on, there we go. Right, who is that? You. Oh, fusion cannon, then flak. Right, come here. Oh, more people are attacking. That's just great. Luckily, they are just drones, and the flat cannon will kill them in one hit. Oh, god damn it. I'm just going to fire a heavy missile and just enjoy the light show, because... Oh, not a... Stop fighting me! There we go. Okay, right. Now, the cockpit layout is nice and different from the Sentinel. Um, and nanopots, we will need those. As you notice, we've already lost health. This is... We are, like, what? Like, a few seconds into a run at this stage, and we've already lost health, so... It's so different from flying anything else where you're just, oh, I'm going to take everything on the shield and it's fine. In this, you actually fear combat because it will hurt you. I don't know if you can get, like, a shock rifle on this craft. If you can, I'd love a shock rifle. Because I'll just keep people at max range and just shoot them with that. Um, I don't need fuel. Let's have a look over here. You have drawn the attention of hostiles. Yes, I know. Wait for it. There we go. Flak took care of it. Whoa! We're getting chased by missiles. Let's go hide. Hello! Oh, those aren't missiles. Those are enemy incoming fighters. Okay, I'm gonna drop a mine cluster behind us. God, we've taken quite a lot of damage.
Oh god. I'm just hoping they're going through the mines behind me. Right, kill that one. No, you need to die. Oh, take, take so much damage! Uh, the thing is that I'm out of energy because I was boosting around when they appeared. There we go. No, that really wasn't well executed. That was awful. Have you seen how much health we've got? This is this is the first sector. I told you I'm not good with this ship. I, I'm sure there's like a key to it, and I just don't understand it. Oh. Ow! I can't afford to do that. Light missiles. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not wanting those. Those are terrible compared to what I've got. Oh no! That's just what I need. No. <laughs> Oh, uh, we just... You know what? We're going to leave. Uh, because I don't think we'll survive if we stay here. And all our forces are inbound. So, yeah, we should be leaving. Oh, we made it out. But our health is just off. I'm not going here. This is a high risk. I'm going to the medium risk. We're dead. We're dead. We're so dead. To be fair, that was like the worst scenario we could have had. Uh, we just got over and over and over again, just pummeled, and people kept jumping on location. Like, look at our display, we've got cracks in the window. Can I just join the outlaws at this point? Be like, alright guys, I'm gonna be dead, so if you could just take me on. I'm gonna drop a combat drone, so we've got a combat drone working for us. Yes, fly, my lovely. The thing is, I'm I panicked sorry. in that combat what? as things got what? worse and worse. Oh, nothing. Uh-huh. So, how long were you alone before I joined you? Um, and I, I panicked and I could use a damage limiter and I probably should have, but I forgot. And then I could use a comet drone, but I forgot. And, oh god. I'm not gonna, I, I can't take a fight, so I'm gonna have to waste a heavy rocket on a single enemy. Sounds of credits is nice. Not like we're gonna have a chance to spend it. And deposited. <laughs> oh god uh, we'll, we'll retry we'll retry I didn't that is actually my shortest run even including the first like time I started the game up by a long margin <laughs> This is fair. This is fair a start. Look, there's like two enemies. They're in the one direction. I'm not surrounded. Hopefully they won't keep jumping on top of me like the last group did. This is a this is a much fairer start. That was a that was a poor I mean if we had shields, it probably wouldn't be that bad. But the just the fact we were without shields was just very painful. Also I did burn a lot of my uh, energy. Um Yeah, come through that minefield at me. There we go. It did take a couple of hits even then, but... Hey, we figured out how to use a minefield a little bit. No! No jumping in on me! Notice I'm using the flat cannon because they're out of range of the fusion cannon. Yep, one of them hit a mine and exploded. Now these mines won't explode on me because they are uh, owned by me. So I don't know if the proximity explosions uh, from just detonating after a certain amount of time injure me though. That that would be painful if they did. Uh, right, let's go have a look at you. Are you guarding something interesting over there? Can't really tell. This cockpit's much smaller and more enclosed than the Sentinel. Oh. That probably wasn't necessary. I'm using the mine clusters now because we didn't live long enough to even remotely use them last time. There's some nanobots. Great. Those two are going to help. Um, 
So I'm kind of in the mode, mood of, you know what, I don't know how to use the mound clusters most effectively. Uh, so I might as well use them really, like, just liberally. Just all over the place. Oh, that mineable crystal is hiding. Whoa, nope, this is just not the way in. I really got very close to just running straight into that as a wall. I thought that was the way in. Okay, we're going to back away so we can see more of the asteroid, because right now I'm really confused. Is that the way in? Yes! Also, mining of this ship is so much fun, because one flat cannon shot will mine everything. And it looks like uh, it didn't even remotely splash damage me at that range, which is nice. I mean, it obviously means that there's, you know, not going to splash damage an enemy at that range. It is a pretty small AoE effect. Uh, yeah. Mineable gas. Boop. <laughs> All the gas. I don't know why anyone uses anything else to uh, mine with. I mean, probably because technically there's, like, limited ammo, but we don't care. Um, I don't know. High operating costs. Just mine with flat cannons. You know, you don't need fancy mining lasers. Stick a flat cannon on it. Uh, do we want a hard or a medium? Uh, I'm going to go for a medium. Because I don't want to do the hard one. Okay, some outlaws. Who have seen me. Uh, in which case... Oh, yeah, you were well closer than that minefield. Whoopsie. There we go. Now, the theory that Gatling Cannon not offers is helping out, but uh, I don't really get a good sense of how it works. I think it's only got a range of a kilometre, so it only starts firing towards the very end. Okay, that's a couple of Outlaw Scouts over there. What I'll do is I'll probably trigger them, and then I'll put up a minefield. Right, now come through that at me. Yeah, we go. Oh, one of them made it through. Oh, no, there we go. That's how you use the minefield. That really has helped. Ow! I'm sorry, we used some of the fuel, but some of it got rejected by us, so it got pushed out the front as I accelerated, and so I collided with it, and it looked like we bounced off it with ridiculous force. But it, it wasn't us getting bounced off it, it was also it getting bounced off of us. But because we're in space, it's hard to tell. But it looked like we had bounced off it, even though it's tiny. Now, did we pull? No, we did pull, and then we let them go. Okay, there's a guy up to the... there. Top left. We did technically pull for a moment. Plasma field over there. Out the scout. No, in theory, I want to pull them one at a time. There we go. I'm liking the travel speed of the flak. Like, I always worry with flak that, oh, it's going to take ages to travel to the target. By the time it gets there, they're going to be moving. And it's actually not that bad. Shield breaker missile. You know what? I did just run out of one of my missiles. So, yoink. Oh, hello. What's that? Missile turret. Right. Yeah, I'm really afraid of fixed installations. Like, in previous games, you see me just run up to a fixed installation, run away, dodge things. Um... Whoops, I think that may have ejected backwards inside. How close can I... Can I get close enough to... No. Okay, well, that one's a loss. Um... Oh! Well, I'll pitch it up. There we go.
Missile Defense System Mark II. Energized Boost. Instantly increases your ship's boost for a short amount of time. Shuts down your shield when active. I mean, yeah, it shuts down our shield when activated. Oh, whoa, betide us. Uh, missile Defense System. Destroys all missiles in a certain range when active. Huh. Oh, do we need, we need to activate the Gatling Cannon. That's why it hasn't been firing. I mean, not that it really needs to, because people don't get ready to get close at the moment. That would be why. Derp, derp, derp. I thought it would just be active normally, but it's a device, so I need to activate it. As you would any other device. Ow. That... I can't afford to do that. I don't have the repair capabilities to just repair every time I dent the craft. Okay, I want to investigate that thing over to my right in a second. But I'm going to take a quick swing past here. Nothing. Okay. Also a plasma field. This is probably a GMB thing, so I don't really want to get too involved over here. I don't really want to raid it, because they will start shooting. And with a shield, again, that'd be fine. But without a shield... Oh, God! Oh, ow. Okay, Oka forces are inbound. Uh, in which case, I am going to sit in the plasma field and then leave. Okay, where is the Levy point? Levy point's down here. Because as soon as they shut, they'll start shooting me and... They're here! They're here! They're firing! Oh! Did you hear the firing sound? I was just... That was so, so tight. I thought we were fine, but then that firing sound of plasma going past. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to swing around to the side. Plasma mines, if I want them. Um, got damage limit mark two. I don't think I really do want the plasma mine, even if there are five of them, because that means people have to go past me because you drop a mine where you are, as opposed to the mine missile. Um, I don't want people going past me because that means that they get to shoot me lots. Oh, hello. I mean, I'll have a look at it, but I doubt I'm going to use it. Gatling cannon. Uh, we can do some hull DPS, but the range is too short, so I'm going to salvage it. Like, there's no point in having a range that's so short that you'll get horrifically murdered. Uh, hello. You're pretty damn close. I'm trying to get into range. Aha. Hello. Okay, that's, um, what are you? Energy injector. Instantly adds a small amount of energy to your car. I actually really want the damage limiters. In future, maybe, but for now. Okay, where is that? There we go, tractor beam. Increases your ship's range for collecting pickups. It's a passive device as well. These are all active. And the thing with me is, I'm not really good with active devices. I should probably get rid of them. Instantly increase your ship's boost for a short amount of time. Effect 2.5 energy. You know, it does consume energy. You know what? I will swap that out. Because it was, well, you know, the energy boost is going to be really useful for getting away from combat. Uh, it does use energy, and we don't have much to play with, so. The tractor beam will mean I can grab stuff from further away, which will mean I can be quicker about my pickups and not have to go in tight places as much. All right. Okay, where are we going next? Oh, do you want to repair? Yeah, we repaired a full. There we go. Very nice. Don't want those plasma mines. We will have a go with this Alcar fighter. Do you want to bring out a combat drone or something? No, I, m I will activate the Gatling turret. Oh, we're on the wrong one. A Gatling turret shows what you got. There we go. The Gatling turret's joining in. Thank you very much. Gatling turret's not too bad, is it? Oh, holy crap. We've walked into the wrong area. I think there's enemy things around here. Oh, dear. There are. Okay. Well, it looks like there's only one. 
Oh, hello. Uh, no, whatever was on there got killed by a Gatling turret. That's pretty good. Thank you, Gatling turret. Uh, have you got anything cool and snazzy for me? No? I mean, I'll explode things if you don't give me anything cool and snazzy. That's a bit disappointing. Well, in which case, you can be exploded. Uh... This is a very enclosed cockpit. Like, I am really tempted to fly from this, but the problem with this is I always get really confused about how close I'm flying to things. Oh, find a ball. Oh. That said, the track beam probably helps. Maybe we should fly from this angle. Yeah. Like, it gives it a lot more space to see. I actually don't know what people prefer. Because obviously, I prefer, when possible, to fly from the internal cockpit, because it, it feels a lot more visceral when you fly past stuff. But as a viewer, you don't know. I don't know if you you get that sense. Um, this is generally better for vision, but it also means you can't judge distance as well, at least in my opinion. Get this mud floor, then we'll jump out. And boop, boop. Best way to mine. In fact, I think we vaporized the entire astro. Oh god, there's something over here that I completely missed. Is there anything left that we can do really, really quickly? Well, nope. Shield breaker missiles, we gotta be out of here. We got away without being hit. Barely. I pushed that. Really pushed that. Right, what have we got? Outlaw drones over there. Interesting looking asteroid over here. Well, I'll go to this because this is likely to... I was going to say, it's likely to be pretty passive and not shoot us. It's not entirely accurate. There's plenty of ones I've come across that have got turrets on or in them. Hello. Uh, poor crystal formation. Did you literally have nothing in you? That's just cheating. Lying to me. Oh, this is some kind of like excavation thing, right? So they excavated it. While mining. Oh, nanobots. Very nice. I've only got a tiny bit of helmet thing, so I'm probably fine. Do -do 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 Oh, nope, that's enemies who've locked on. Yep, liking this. We're gonna get rid of this. The Gatling turret really does help more than I thought it would. I, I underestimated the Gatling turret, but damn, it really is helpful. Right, let's have a look over here. Trader. Do you have, do you have nanobots that's going to trade? I'll take them. I'll take them all. I'll have Chad and take them all. And the Gatling car is deactivated. Mm. Boop. I can get damage limiters. Um, which means we can spam them more often in combat. I like the idea of that. I'm also totally subtly changing on my headset battery. Because it just died. And there we go. Back online. Uh, shield breaker missiles. I mean, I'm full on shield breaker missiles. I'm also full on damage limiters, but we could change the one Mark II we've got. So we could get this. Oh, uh, oh, didn't mean to do that. Salvage it. And then... There we go. Give you some money for that one. Give you some money for comp... Oh! I gave you compound for money. Whoops. Didn't mean to do it. Uh, I meant to do it the other way around, but... Ah, well. 
It wouldn't be any episode about dirt, would it? Right. Anything interesting around here to grab on mine? There's a couple of things, but... I guess we'll get the plasma field, since we're within 2k of it. Nom nom nom. Mineable ore, mineable ore, does whatever you can bore. Done. I love just being able to just fully mine just with one shot. It's just hilarious. I just I've just spent so much time right with the sentinel going, trying to mine everything in an asteroid. Whereas if this is just, Boop. I hope I didn't hit anything. Good, we're cool. That would have been a little bit awkward if I like shot the jump gate and I'd be like, ah, you're stuck. Whoops. And now, because we're jumping through sectors, we can upgrade our ship. Uh, so we can upgrade our weapons, we can upgrade our missiles, we can upgrade our engine, we can upgrade our drones, our jump drive fuel capacity, our hull hit points, our armor. Energy. I'm thinking for start, a few percent on armor would be really good. There we go. It's now getting very expensive. Hit points by 10 is not much. I think getting energy capacity is good because we have seen that we do run out of energy pretty quick. We'll start towards... There we go. Extra device. So we've now got four devices we can carry. Which means we can get more passes. Uh, most importantly, because that way we can carry a ton of passes. Uh, we need three and a... Um, we only got a tiny bit left. There isn't actually much we can buy. We could get energy regeneration up by a half tick. We could start working on the primary weapon slot because this is going to take us several. It's going to take us four to get there. Um, I'm thinking what we do is we grab a little bit more energy regeneration. Because 0.5 is going to be. 0.5 on 6 is going to be 112. Not terrible. Continue on. And there we go. Now we get the handicap. Hardcore is hard mode and then some. So we've got to choose. Energy core only recharges when standing still or reduced inertial dampening. I wouldn't mind reduced inertial dampening if we didn't have a shield. Uh, as if we had a shield. But since we don't have a shield, if I bump into things, that's damage to the hull and that's painful. Energy core only recharges when standing still. I'm not going to be outrunning anyone anyway, so you know what? We will go with that. I'm going to forget that, and I'm going to get murdered. Okay, elite GME fighters. Mining things aren't working. There's a jump suppressor around somewhere. We're going to go this way and look for the jump suppressor. Yeah, the jump suppressor isn't over here. Outlaw Scout, hello. Alright, turn it on. And then I just focus on dodging at that point. Uh, drone override allows to override drones, as you might expect. Ah, oh, we can't trade up the damage limiter, I think. Must be an eight. Oh, hello. Elite outlaw scout. That's going to be painful. Oh! Oh, I have to be standing still. I told you I'd forget it. Get me the combat drone. Get 
Get away from here. I'm some regretting that now. Okay, heavy missile. Yeah, I know I'm getting shot! Come on, die already! Nothing like a bit of bloodlust to stir the spirit. Okay, that hurt. I'm gonna go get these numbers. Right, so our sensors are damaged. We're gonna repair them first of all, then we're gonna repair our hull. Which luckily we can afford to do. Oi. No. No means no. Go away, I'm in a lot of pain. All right, did you have anything cool over here? No, well I will just wreck your stuff because you were mean to me. Also, I, I need to stay still to recharge. This is, I, I didn't think this through. I'd rather have the initial tablets. Did you kill that elite GMB thing? Oh, you must have. Nah, hello. I don't want any mines going off near me. God, this thing's so inaccurate. Trying to hit the mines is just a nightmare. Uh, whoops. Alright, get close enough to hack that jump suppressor. Get some stuff, and then leave quickly, because I do not want to be near a mine. A mine will wreck our hull massively. We will take so much damage from it. They are very powerful. They take down your shield in like two mines. Oh, we have pulled someone. Now, got to be cautious about our energy because we don't regen. Right, one down. Shield booster, consumable. Uh, I don't think we can use it. No, we can't. Class restriction. Right, okay, that is Orca Forces Inbound. Uh, which is a shame, because there was some stuff here. Like, there was a freighter wreck or something that I completely didn't get to, but... When nature calls... It's not when nature calls, it's not like I need to go take a leak, it's just unfortunately the Orca. And um, there was pain, there was lots of pain. I should have used my damage mitigation, I don't know why I didn't. Oh, so there's a service station here. Service stations will repair you for money, which is great. It's really, really good for us because when we get damaged, we need to repair. Uh, so I'm going to go here. It's medium difficulty. It's also got a natural hazard. I appreciate you are enjoying the respite. Can't be tracked here. But we might be better seeking progress and action. Okay. Well, we can't be tracked. So, let's have a look around. Massive, like, ship graveyard going on. What was that? Ah! I might be out of my depth here. I could have told you that the book would be dead. I need to use my damage mitigation. Get back or take evasive action. There we go. I'm out of energy. Thank you, turret. You did a great job. Thank you, little drone, as well. I need to just stay still. 
But we did use the damage limiter. I did remember. Probably should have that before the combat drone, to be honest, because the Gatling turret is perfectly capable of handling itself. Alright, energy's back. And I nearly crashed into that. That's a good start. Uh, which was the way in? There we go. Right. Oh, there we go. My sensors are fine. Uh, I'm not in repair. There's a repair station. Ow! We're gonna get hit by that, because... I have an anti-missile suite, which I just remembered upon seeing that missile coming at me. I was like, wait, I've got an anti-missile. Ah, oh, too late. Right, what's down here? Oh, we got an access key, so we can use this. Wait, those are enemies. Okay, um... If you want to come at me... Oh, I just think they're fighting my drone. Not that it's going to last very long. Credits. Nanobots. A scatter gun 2880. Plus, plus, plus. Enhanced. It does not need to be charged. It is a higher fire rate, but lower damage than the standard version. It's meant for hull damage. Its range is... Oh, no! No, don't do that to me! I really want it. I mean, I'm gonna... I'm gonna swap it in, just to try it out. And then I'm gonna drop it. That seems pretty cool. Oh, my life support is damaged. And I can't repair it. Gonna have to get this. It doesn't have the range. Whoops. Energized boost. Plus plus. Okay, well, we got rid of that last time. Um What else was in here? And there's a missile turret there that I don't want to fight, but... Yoink. Power cell. Oh, we need to fix our life support or we are just going to die. What do we need to fix life support? Gas. We've got eight. We need 25. Ooh. We need 17 gas. That's a lot of gas we need. Oh, no. Do we need eight more or... See, so that must be you need three, and you've got three. You need nine, you've got... So we need eight. No, that would mean we're fine. Oh, we can fix life support. Huh. In which case, uh, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, right. Sensors are still impaired. That's lovely. It's nice that they sent out the thing with the uh, access code for me. Oh, whoa! I don't have enough energy to do anything. Um, I'm gonna have to jump. Uh, no, I know I can do. I'm gonna. You're taking damage. I know, but I need my energy. Oh god. I used use heavy missiles on every one of them. It's because I couldn't use... I had no energy. And I was just... Oh. It's because I boost around everyone. No, I shouldn't boost around. Blah, 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 blah. But... Have you considered that I'm just really, really lazy? 
he says it's boosting again. Uh, this dock over here will be able to repair us, but I don't know how much they're going to charge. The prices bring all the ships to the yard, and they're like, those thrusters are large. They're like, those thrusters are large. I could fix you, but I'd have to charge. I think these are the ones that might be new in the DLC. Oh, I like... No money. Oh no, they just won't repair anymore. Yeah, zero left. Okay. Uh, I will buy some fuel as well. Not that I think we're going to need that much fuel because we're probably going to die. Um, and then resource shop. Uh... Yeah, I'll give you some money for some of that compound. Oh god, nearly hit that. Alright, is there anything else for us to grab? I mean, there's probably a lot of grabbed stuff here, because a lot of grabbable stuff here is just, I can't words. Uh, because, look at all this. Stuff's been absolutely wrecked. There's probably tons that we could get here, but I don't really want to stick around very long, because this sector appears to just be the death of me. When we run out of heavy missiles, I have no idea what our fallback is going to be. Because I can't even launch, like, damage limited and stuff if I've got no energy. I should, you know, stop boosting everywhere. Which means that now I have to recharge, which means no moving. So. I really wish I'd gone with the inertial dampener failure. I really wish. My senses are impaired. There might be something in there still. There it is. Alright, let's go. Won't be long before the orc car show up. And they won't be happy. And they'll tear me to shreds. Yeah, it's a high risk area. Okay, Okar are fighting some outlaws. There's an elite GMB over here, which means that I definitely want to be over here so they can fight each other. Don't use your energy. Don't use your energy. E, you need the energy. But we go so slowly. Yeah, they found me. I need to move out because I need to get close enough to you'll get aggroed. Whoa. Hi, shoot me now. Damage limiter. Gatling turret. Go nuts. Yoink. Don't even need you. Little. Should have joined in. That's all I'm saying. Some elk would have been appreciated. Not on me. Oh, crystal. Yay! Don't boost it. Do you know, actually now we've had a combat. Stay still. Enjoy the view. Get a drink. Have a margarita. You know, do what you gotta do to get that. I shouldn't be shooting either. I've gotta just... So, how was your day? I did pick the hardest handicap. Really shouldn't have picked that one. Right. Another one dies. 
another one bites the dust, and another one goes, and another one goes, another one bites the dust. Hey, I'm gonna get you too, another one bites the dust, boom. Now, there is a uh, jump signal uh, suppressor here, so I've got to be a bit cautious about this one. Because we're gonna have to- OH GOD! Oh, it's a new trailer. Probably didn't need to waste that use then. Well, we do need to stand still, so we're gonna stand still for a little- a little. Uh, actually, there's a drone coming at us. I had a plan. That plan did not survive contact with the enemy. The enemy saw my plan, and they were like, "No, nah, mate, you're not having a plan." Oh God! Get that combat drone out. Gatling turret in three seconds. Someone's calling in reinforcements. I'm out of energy. There we go. Take that. Right. And of course the Okar forces are inbound. I mean, I was just going to check out some, you know, interesting looking things, but sure. Where do I need to go? Oh no, there's a signal suppressor still active. That's what I was going to do. Oh no. That's the wrong way. I've got to go to the signal suppressor. They're jumping in. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Hostiles are targeting us. Come, we can make it out here. Ow. You can't use that. I'm out of energy. It's still cooling down. Yeah, yeah, just checking. No, it's not cooling down. It just. Oh, God! It's probably here. Yep. There we go. Jump suppressor. I'm gonna. It's not gonna. No. You got out of ah! I just really don't like my corps either. I made it to sector two. Which is far better than we did before. Uh, it's that energy thing that killed us. Without, without that standstill to recharge. Oh, we should have just gone with the inertial dampener one. But I was I was so afraid of look liking like just looking like adult and just being like oh I'm just gonna park up here against the asteroid da, 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 boing and getting ourselves killed uh, that I didn't and that was that was my failing. So uh, thank you much for watching this sponsored let's play of Everspace Encounters DLC. Uh, the hardcore mode is very hard. Uh, the gunship is very hard and it's not my playstyle. I. I will go back to my relationship with the Sentinel, reaffirmed that we are we are going to be exclusive from now on. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, of course, there is a link uh, somewhere down below to the uh, the, the game uh, where you can find it. And uh, if you want to click the thing and do the thing, you can get the game in the expansion. Uh, I've been Ezra Stay shiny.